You see, at first, the term uh, zombie was not a politically acceptable term. Uh, people did not like the idea of a horror movie happening right outside their front door. So instead, they used the term catatonic. Uh, this became about because the victims showed signs of catatonia with uh, motions or lack thereof. And after a while, we started calling them caddies in the IDF, that's what we call them. And uh, it went a very long time before anyone actually connected the catty flu along with the more violent uh, infected that we now see today. Yes, the BACT was my idea. You take your counterterrorism people, your espionage people, your hostage rescue people, and your spec op people, and you focus them on a single goal. The goal to discover the cause of the one controversy the world has never known. My name is Lucas Jasper. They call me Bishop for short. I've been with BACT since it started. It was founded about five months ago. BACT, Group 74, come back in this channel with the updated situation. Be advised that hostile was last seen heading east on Willis Boulevard. One dead, uh, a couple wounded, and uh, exposed. All right, uh, who's got perimeter right now? Bishop's on containment right now. Okay. Riggs, Bishop, I'm gonna need a situation report. We've got three houses left, no sign of hostile yet. Get down, 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 get down. Get down. <laughs> okay, to answer your question, yes, we were a bureaucratic nightmare. I mean, every single civil rights group, uh, human rights group, even angry mothers wanted us dead. But I'll tell you what, they talked a lot of shit from a safe distance while we stood toe to toe with the fucking caddies. No, 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 Bishop, Bishop, Bishop. Bishop, is that fucking What the wait? hell are you doing? Fucking wait, you can't shoot it like I that. You have to try something. negotiation. Negotiation? Right, this is a fucking terrorist, it's a zombie. Listen! The fucking regulations say we have to negotiate. Fuck regulations, fuck yeah, no. just I'm playing a bullet. Someone, someone's got to take him out, guys. Pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger. Pull the trigger, relax, 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 relax,
conspiracy is inevitable uh, when dealing with a crisis, especially in America. Uh, people wanted someone to blame. And after a while, uh, after science could show nothing, uh, we found a scapegoat. Corporate regulations were shit. They, there was no understanding of the protection or the codes needed to identify the problem, and eventually things got out of control. The goal of the BACT has always been to find the person or persons responsible. At the end of the day, there is nothing natural about the caddies. When did the spider come along? At the time of all this, Levitrix Medical was the medical industry. They owned your family doctor, the local hospital, even your cough remedy was owned by Levitrix or any of their subsidiaries. A Levitrix Medical pioneered medication by the name of Xyldam was the real suspect on trial. Here you had literally the miracle drug, a drug that could cure everything from general anxiety all the way to manic depression virtually overnight. Lepitrix marketed Xyldam as a wonder drug that would treat a whole slew of psychological conditions. I mean, pretty soon after the drug was released, you had doctors prescribing Xyldam to students with problems with their study habits. It was never meant to do that. I mean, when you look at it, everyone in this country fell victim to this trend with Xyladam to correct our natural imperfections as humans. Were the contents of that drug what caused the catatonic flu? Couldn't say. But if they were, how could you prove it? I mean, how can you prove that the side effects of a man-made drug gave birth to the living dead? No jury would hear that case. Yeah, I mean, we broke some rules. I mean, who didn't? You know, I can't sit here and lie and say that I didn't lead the multiple break-ins to steal all this information about Xyldam. But I stole the information that they didn't want to get out, like the fact that they were using these high-grade steroids that literally ravaged the human immune system. I mean, how can you say that something like caddy flu came out of left field when the evidence is right there? Washington, along with the BACT, had literally cornered Lepitrix with what they uncovered about Xyldam. If you owned a TV and were home at 5 o'clock, you couldn't miss the lawsuits faced by Lepitrix. That's his car right there, in the driveway. Go ahead, oh, they're pulling out, they're pulling out. Go, go, go. Stop right here. Walk the driveway. Got the car, let's go. Get out, get out, get out. Get the fuck out, get him out, get him out. Get out of the car. 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 You got him? Get your fucking arms down. The BACT did what literally no one else was willing to do in the past. They were able to pull these corporate con artists into the spotlight for everyone else to see. I'll tell you the day we were called in for our first meeting, we were handed these folders, and inside the folders I started looking through. We had capture orders, kill orders, interrogation orders, and across each one, deniable. What did you guys do with the CEOs? What? The CEOs. CEO? Yeah. <laughs> what CEO? Remember that day? We had to dig two holes. Things were starting to get beyond political. Clearly, the company couldn't support itself through multiple lawsuits and were facing a desperation that they could not escape from. I mean, thank Hashem that uh, the BACT is here protecting the people from these creatures. Uh, People forget sometimes that the enemy is often right next door, usually hard to find. In other countries, these Lepetrix executives would not only be tried, but they would be sent to death for the crimes they've done. The best thing I can tell you about this is, yes? I'm live on the scene where earlier today, Deputy Director of the BACT program, Howard Burton, was kidnapped during a live interview. Sources have linked the kidnappers to several private military contractors who in the past have been employed to defend corporate assets and investments. Members of these groups have not come forth to claim the responsibility of the execution of Howard Burton, but members of multiple government branches have begun a rigorous investigation into the matter. Yeah. Yeah, what do you want to do, sir? All right.